Hello guys and welcome to a very exciting LEGO Star Wars news video. Today we do have an official reveal for the first August 1st LEGO Star Wars set. This one being 75394 Imperial Star Destroyer. This is the first Imperial playset version of the Star Destroyer that we've seen in a decade. This one has so much to cover here starting off with the box art on the front. I think Link it looks incredible. I mean you have that Death Star looming in the background along with some explosions and it does show off some of the details there um, with the full model. You also see the minifigures here, all seven are included, such as Cal Kestis, and we'll cover the rest um, here in a second. But from our first look, this one looks really, really good. It will retail for $160 with 1,555 parts, and like I said, it releases on August 1st, 2024. On the back of the box, this is where it really starts to get interesting. The back of the box is a full callback to the back of the box of the UCS Imperial Star Destroyer with that um, background of, I believe it's Crate or like the planet from Star Wars A Solo Story. But this is a full callback to that one with the whole back of the Star Destroyer. It looks really good. You could see, look at the interior. You could see a new hologram piece being used and you can see Darth Vader kind of walking around there. Lots of minifigures being used there. There's also a carry handle on the set so you could swoosh it around and the parts are able to be removed like in the previous one a decade ago. You can also swivel the guns around and make it move around just like in the one from 2014. So it seems like LEGO is reusing a lot of the play features from that one. So even though that is a little bit outdated, I think it still looks pretty neat. And next up here, you can take a look at the full model like this. You do see all the minifigures in display and the 25th anniversary Cal Kestis minifigure there in the background. This model is significantly smaller than the 2014 model, but it's still really, really good in my opinion nonetheless. It sort of looks like a smaller down version of the Ultimate Collector Series 1 with a good amount of studs and plates, like flat plates being shown. So I think it matches very well and it looks like a very good Lego set. And next up here, you can see the side of it along with the back of it. It looks quite interesting. I think it looks uh, kind of funky in a little bit, but it does look good from uh, most of the sides. A few of the perspectives make it look a little weird, especially maybe from the inside where you can see a lot of exposed studs. I thought LEGO would have th fixed that by now because it's been seven years since the first Order Star Destroyer, and there was the same issues in that one as there was in the 2014 one. And here you can see some interior shots, some renders of the um, model inside. You can see that there is a crew member and an Imperial officer there with, uh, right behind Darth Vader on the bridge. I think it looks pretty good and it's a pretty good shot there to kind of show you a lot of the details. In the background, you can see a small Star Destroyer um, hologram there on a screen. So that's also pretty cool and I'm glad that LEGO made, it, made this shot. And then here there's another shot of a crew member working at a desk and there's Darth Vader sort of peeking out and you can see the Family Guy Stormtrooper in the side there kind of just standing and guarding the area. This is a pretty cool looking model and not that much of an interior as people were hoping for but I do think it kind of fits the vibe of most recent LEGO Star Wars sets. And lastly here, we're going to take a look at the full minifigure lineup. Up at the top, you have an Imperial crew member that, that looks to be the same one from the UCS version without any arm printing, so that it looks like LEGO is reusing the same torso and leg printing. There you can also see an Imperial gunner there on the bottom with a small blaster pistol, and a few, um, and I don't remember that, I think it's a Death Star gunner or something like that. He does have a sniper rifle, and then you can see the Family Guy Stormtrooper on the bottom left-hand corner. There's also a First Order op uh, Imperial officer and Darth Vader um, right next to the 25th anniversary Cal Kestis minifigure which is the most anticipated minifigure of this entire set let me know your thoughts on this set in the comment section below i am super excited to pick this one up i would love to hear your thoughts what are your thoughts on it i think it's a great set but be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here comment your thoughts in the comment section below and be sure to have a great rest of your day and goodbye